Hello. Sun- Hi. Sunny Rob. What's going on? Hi, how are you? I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. That's good. I'm doing all right. How are you doing today? Ah, uh, so far so good. So far so good. You say so far so good. So the day started out uh, like any other day, and you still trying to maintain uh, in this in this hectic this yeah yeah this stuff that's yeah. going on right now. Well, Sonny Rob, yeah. as you already know who I am, I'm Lockout Man. Thank you. Thank you for yeah. taking the call. Thank you for doing the podcast. I do appreciate it. Oh, my pleasure. Um, sure. Basically, what it is, if you've seen any of my uh, podcasts before, basically, is, you know, we just get down and talk. That's about it. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You, you know, we could talk about topics. We could talk about, you know, you or whatever the case. You know, in the midst of everything, I just ask you questions about yourself and, you know, Basically, go from there. All right? Far away. All right. Well, let's do this. Let's get on up in here. What's up, y'all? Lockout men here again. Yes, I am here again doing another interview for you guys today. Today, we have a bus driver. Am I right? Am I right? That's that's correct. That's yeah. that's what you do. You 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 drive buses for a living. Now, is it a is it a school a school bus or or public transportation? School bus. School bus driver, y'all. A class well, <laughs> class that's a class B with passengers, but you can have it with a class A with passengers as right, well. Yeah. So and that that is correct. I do have a class A license. Mm-hmm. Um. But school buses are typically Class B and C vehicles. All right. And we're going to get into all of that. Let me welcome to the show, Sonny Rob. (laughs) All right. All right. Thank you. (laughs) How are you today? I am well, thank God. I, I, I know, man. We're, um, we're, well, well, let's jump in. Uh, let the listeners know who you are and where you uh, and where you from. I am Sunny Rob. I live in kind of north central New Jersey, um, right near Route seventy eight. All right, all right. So New Jersey. So that's uh, of course that's close to uh, close to uh, New York, New York State, and I don't do the Northeast. Yeah. Can't can't do the northeast. Mm-mm. Not not messing with the, not messing with the northeast up there, man. We we can't we can't we can't we can't come together. But if I have to come if if I have to come up there, if I have to come up there, then I'm I'm going to just have to come up there. But you know it's just unfortunate right now. So in the midst of all this chaos that's going on right now, don't don't say the word because YouTube has a has a thing on it. Uh, in the midst of all this chaos that's going on, how is it affecting you? Well, um, our the district that we service um, shut school down on March 16th. Mm-hmm. So, you know, immediately we stopped driving. Um, I am I'm a substitute driver, but I get paid full time. I just, I drive routes to whoever's out sick or if someone quits, um, mm-hmm. I have to go do that route. But I also do um, athletic routes and field trips and that sort of thing. Okay. And that portion of, um, of my work disappeared. <laughs> Yeah, that, so, that I, I would imagine. Our, I would imagine that that took a significant hit. It did. Yeah, we did. Uh, fortunately, we're still getting our contracted pay um, up until the summer, um, and hopefully, hopefully by then, um, at least the summer school might get back into session. We we have a situation here. Uh, we have a lot of special needs students um, that have a a continuing a continuing program into the summer. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. So be so so being a bus driver, you you guys are are contracted. So is it is it contracted for like doing just exclusively during the school year and then 
during uh during summer break you guys gotta find something else to do or y'all still is contracted through that as well well it's it's not contracted through the summer um but some of us it's based on seniority in the summer. Uh, there are a certain amount of slots that are available to help um, for the special needs schooling during the summer. Uh, we also transport for camp as well. Um, so we get a little extra work there. But basically, our main income is for the 10 months that school is in session. Okay. Okay. So so y'all get... Oh, and I also am a, I'm also a, um, a certified trainer too so i train people to get their cdl oh okay okay is that uh is is that through a through an independent school or you your your independent self no uh we i am one of four trainers in the bus company oh. that can train people oh okay okay so now let me ask you this because i went back mm-hmm. to my school my uh my truck driving school back in the day and um, when I started, I was able to, well, I would have been able to get my, my passengers endorsement at the time. It would have cost me an extra, it would have cost me extra to do it. But now he told me that in the state of Ohio, only the, only the bus companies, like, like public transportation, school buses and stuff like that can only train for passengers endorsements now is that true up in uh up in new jersey as well um when i got my license i'm not 100 percent sure now although i think it's still the same way we can um do passenger endorsements through a school oh. you know through a commercial school oh, okay um the school bus i think it is still that you have to come to a school bus contractor Mm -hmm. um and they will help you get your s endorsement but then again you have to go through the entire road test again okay yeah that that shouldn't Mm -hmm. i mean if you if you was able to get your if you was able to get your class a's then i'm sure getting your class b's or 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 passengers endorsements should be a breeze (laughs) you know yeah you know the, the interestingly I will say this. Interestingly, here in New Jersey, <laughs> they you kind of they they'll, they'll treat you like you don't have a CDL at all. Okay. Um, I had this one particular lady come to our company. She had been working for New Jersey Transit mm-hmm. actually for quite a long time, mm-hmm. and we thought, oh, this is going to be a breeze. You know, we're just going to go through what's different with the school bus, right? And lo, lo and behold, they treated her like she didn't even have a CDL, and they failed her. Wow. Um, in fact, I had to go, yeah, I had to go back with her another two times in order for her to, to get past. It was ridiculous. Now, this and this is only for the passengers. I mean, the passenger endorsements. No, this is for school bus. This is for school bus. Oh, for school. But that's, you know, sti- but that's still passengers, passenger endorsements, though, right? Or is that? Yes, yeah, you still have to have, yeah, you still have to have a passenger endorsement first. Yeah, that's yeah. So so they mm-hmm. so they so they failed her like twice, huh? Yeah. I guess yep. I guess that cockiness didn't work out for her, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, they see it as cocky. I didn't really think that she was, but I think they did. Um and it's happened to a couple of other people too mm-hmm. that uh we have trained. We we've, we've had, you know, we've had retired retired truck drivers come. Mm-hmm. To try to get their us endorsements, and you know they want they wind up getting failed. So, wow! So and, yeah, so it's a little so it's a little bit. Is it? But well, let me ask you this: Is it depending on who you go to that 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 is tough like that, or is it tough like that across the board? I hate to say it, but sometimes it depends on the mood of the examiner. Yes. Um, there are there are other motor vehicle there are motor vehicle agencies that have their reputation, mm-hmm. um, but they also move examiners around. Mm-hmm. Um, so, but it really, honestly, can really depend on on their mood any particular day. Wow. So how long you been? Mm-hmm. So how long you been driving? Uh, driving school bus. 
Um, school buses. I'm into my going into my seventh year. Okay. Okay. Have you have have you driven semi before or? I got my I got my class A license in um, I think it was late 2012. Okay. Um, I I started to work for an owner operator that was local. Uh, he had a tractor trailer, a straight truck, and he had um, two combination vehicles that were uh, dual wheel go- um, dual wheel uh, what do you call it. Um, pickup trucks and gooseneck trailers. Mm-hmm. Um, we, I worked for a horse transport company and um, I didn't get to drive the semi on the road mm-hmm. uh, because I needed a, a year of over the road, which I was not able to do. Um, so I, I drove um, like the, the smaller combination of vehicles. Uh, okay. So you, you pretty much stayed local. <laughs> well, uh was was uh not going over the road was by choice was that because of family or yes oh okay yes. okay yeah actually when i went to school i i went to school really to get a b license but they convinced me to, to get a class a right um so i figured i figured why not um i was hearing stories too that you know if for some reason if, if everything failed in life and uh you know you could always pack up everything and go on the road. And I thought, wow, you know, that, that's really, that's really interesting. And I, I just figured, well, if that were ever to happen to me, I would have the class A license behind me. Well, so. that's, that's what's up. That's saying that was the same thing with me. I, I was going in for my class, you know, I was going in for class B because I was like so freaked out when, <laughs> you know, when I, when I finally got there and, you know, and the instructor was like, well, look, bro, you you paid all this money. So you might as well just go ahead and go for mm-hmm. your A. And then I was like, well, yeah. then I was like, well, all right, well, I, I want to test out in a in a in an automatic. And then he brought me back full circle again. He was like, bro, you spent all this money <laughs> this, mm-hmm. the, 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 to drive a truck, man. So you might as well just go ahead and test out in a manual. And I was like. I was like, cool. The the instructor that I had was real cool. You know, he got, you know, he got me up. He got me up over my fears. He got my confidence back and I was able to uh, pull through and do the damn thing. So you, uh, so you went to, you went through school to get your, your, uh, your license. I did. I went through a commercial school. All right. What, what, what was the name of the school? Smith and Solomon. Oh, okay. Okay. So, what made what what was the reason that you that you knew that you was aware of uh oh, damn it man i'm i'm wording myself wrong what was <laughs> what was the reason or what what was it that you became aware that you wanted to be a a, a driver i'll i'll say that okay well i actually worked on a horse farm uh with this combination show and breeding mm-hmm. and um, my long-term friend and at the time boss um, needed some help driving. Uh, she had a couple of personal vehicles with, that were trucks. And I thought to myself, well, you know, I, I had tried to convince um, my former husband years before to try to get his CDL. Mm-hmm. Um, and I thought, geez, you know, maybe this is something I could do. So I, uh, I got the manual. I studied up on by myself and I went and I, you know, took on took the computer testing Mm -hmm. and, um, that's, you know, like I was saying, I was thinking about going to just get a class B and I called up the school and, you know, went and got tested out. Okay. That's what's up. That is what's up. Was you, was, was you out of pocket or, or you, 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 had a grant or something no i did it out of pocket so how mine was mine was about 56 uh 56k what what was yours well at the time it was i think around 3000 but that was because um i had done all like the legwork prior Mm. you know i had i had gotten my endorsements and um you know i tested out on the computer itself right 
Um, so I already had my permit when I went to school. If um, if I had not had my permit, it probably would have been a you know would've... a good amount more. Oh, okay. Now let me ask you. Now, mm-hmm. now let me ask you this right quick. In in your opinion, uh, do you think mm-hmm. do you from back in the day, like I I know I I talked to some drivers, um, and they said that their school cost was like about fifteen hundred, two thousand. But then now later down the line, it it was it's up in the stratosphere of five thousand, six thousand. Do you think that's mm-hmm. deep? Do, do you think that's because of of the popularity or now or or the driver shortage? Or do you think there's a driver shortage that the that the rates for getting your CDL is at the amount that it is now? Um I think it could, there could be a couple of forces at play there. Mm-hmm. I think it could be come the popularity of it. Mm-hmm. Um, also, it could be insurance factors because, you know, I'm, I'm sure you're aware, sure, insurance rates certainly aren't coming down anytime mm-hmm. soon and they, they no. go up, you know, mm-hmm. substantially. So, no, no, uh, they're, not, they're, not they're not coming down. They're not coming down at all. No. No, I'm I'm sure there's a couple of factors at play there. Okay, okay. So eight years in the game. Out of that eight years, you've been driving a school bus for seven of them. So what's what's mm-hmm. what's your experience with the kids, man? What, how, <laughs> how to I, I, how one handles the kids on uh, driving them to school in the morning and picking them up and driving them back home in the evening? Well, I I am fortunate enough to work for a good district um, where, you know, the, uh, the superintendent um, and the district itself has its act together. Okay. Uh, they don't, they don't put up with any nonsense. And, but, but we have our own, we have our own training that we go to once a month, um, <clears throat> which part of that is how to handle difficult situations, mm-hmm. um, which I have become adept at doing, especially since I'm a substitute. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, yeah, but we, we have our ways. Um, in particular, if if I'm being disturbed at all, I just pull over. Like, and especially in the afternoon, that that when they get really bug some kids when you know, they, they get, get home. when they when they get really out of hand, I'm sure that I'm I'm sure that cal- uh, calms them down. When you pull over and be like, look, I'm not moving. <laughs> right. Well, yeah, so there's that. Plus the fact that we have a camera system on the bus. Okay. We have usually like one or two mm-hmm. um, that, you know, that watch what's going on throughout the entire bus. <laughs> um, so, and the kids know that. So, uh, you know. How, but they forget sometimes, and they'll still act up. But but how, you know that that's the other thing I do too is I I do the video security for the company. How how important that is to to have a to have a video security system um, in the school bus now? Oh, it's very important um, because if there's um, you know if there's bullying, if there's fights, um, if there's uh, if somebody's you know vaping. Um, that sort of thing, Mm -hmm. you know, we, we've had some, we've had some significant issues, especially with special needs too. Right. Um, you know, and and we're, we're very careful. I mean, everything is done under confidentiality. Okay. Okay. So back, you know, back in our day, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm assuming I'm assuming you're up there, you know, up there in age where I'm at. So back in our day, we, you know, I I, I did school bus for like a for maybe my high no my junior high years. Uh, I had to mm-hmm. I had to take a school bus over to the other side of town to go to uh to go to the middle school over there. But when I was in high mm-hmm. school, you know, I just pretty much walked to school. But back then, doing mm-hmm. you know during our time, we we didn't have all that technology that that you guys have now right we didn't either (laughs) so so yeah so being you know having that having that camera system 
having that camera system in a bus should curve a lot of a lot of uh a, a lot of people from doing you know mischievous deeds and stuff like that. I, yeah, it definitely does. Our uh, the district that we drive for requires it. Okay. So what kind of what, what what kind of hurdles you was at was actually to overcome why you why you why you being a school bus driver? Um in what way? Like, you know, like when you first got like when you first started, did you have any type of anxieties or something like that that you had to deal with a whole bunch of kids and you know? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I mean when I was when I went into school uh, the uh, school bus driver was the last thing I wanted to be, <laughs> um, and I <laughs> and I really I really did it um, more out of necessity because, like the local trucking jobs. I mean, the the reason I left the owner operator was because I wasn't getting consistent work. Right. Uh, you know, so I needed something consistent, and the local jobs. You know, my son was still in middle school and my mom, uh, she was elderly Mm -hmm. and I used to take care of her as well. So I needed something with hours that would work with my scheduling and school bus fit it. So I was, (laughs) I took a deep breath. I was like, all right, let's try it. But I wound up loving it. Okay. That's what's up. That is what's up with the school bus driver. Let me give you a. Let me give you a round of applause for that. You gotta be, you, you gotta be strong, like you know, you gotta have a strong mindset to deal with, to deal with kids on a yeah. daily basis. You know what I'm saying? How many, how, oh, yeah. how many, how many kids do you actually drive uh, to and from? What's, what's the number? Like well, 20, 30? Um, our our buses, our our large buses, hold. A maximum fifty four capacity. Okay. Um, and I drive. I can drive anywhere up to about a thousand different people between students, teachers, chaperones, coaches. Um, it can be up to close to a thousand um, faces a week. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. So, Sunny, and I've also mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Um. And I've been very fortunate, too, that um, I, I get to drive pretty much. I mean, I drive for the local district here, but um, doing athletics and field trips, um, I have driven pretty much all over the state of New Jersey. Um, I've driven the city of Philadelphia, New York City, okay. um, upstate New York, and central Pennsylvania. So, oh, and, Del- and I've been through Delaware, too. Oh, okay. So it's, it's been been great. I, I really enjoy it. Okay, that's what's up. That is what's up. So, Sonny, I, yeah. I, I noticed you you do have a YouTube page uh, chronicling your uh, your 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 school bus journey. What is the name of that? Because I tried to find it and I couldn't. Oh, it's just Sunny Rob. Um, I have a couple of videos on there. I did a um, is it a food review when I was in Delaware once. You say Sunny Rob, right? Sunny as an S O. Yes. I mean, not S O. S U N N Y. U N N Y. O. I mean R O B. Right? Is it all one word? Right. Mm-hmm. Is it all one word or no? No, it's two words. Okay. Now, see, I'm not. Yeah, I only have a couple of videos on there. Yeah, see, I'm not able. <sighs> Damn it, man. See, I'm. I t- I typed you in, but I'm not able to. Mm-hmm. I'm not able to find you. That is probably because I only have like I think two videos on there. Oh, okay, okay. I know I can yeah, I, I'm not I know I came <laughs> I know I came across you like before, but yeah, I, I go Well, I also um I also was a participant in um Choice Masses Yeah, D O T little drama series. Yeah, yeah D O T. Yeah. That was uh yeah. That little mini series yeah. that they had going on yeah. for uh for for a little bit. Yep. So yeah, I definitely yeah, yeah I definitely had a lot of fun making that. Yeah, I definitely uh I definitely checked that out. Choice Mass is a is a is a good dude, very good dude. Um, he is a something else. Now being now being that you brought that up, 
how did they go by mm-hmm. how did they go by um filming everything did do you guys have to do your own filming and then send it in to him and yeah. he'll cut it up yes we did for the most part sometimes um sometimes a couple of the cast members were able to meet up mm-hmm. and they did a skit um you know by themselves and then it was all edited and put together it was really it was really an amazing collaboration because we had you know I don't know how many people were involved. Yeah, but, it was um, a it was a lot of it was a lot of drivers that represented a lot of states. Yeah. Yes. That was so we were, you know, we were all like doing our little individual skits mm-hmm. and um, you know, the editors put it all together. I think that was the editors were um <sighs> I think it was choice, of course. I think Choice Mass was um, one of them. I think uh, Trucking with Tay was the other one. No, it was um, Truck It with Box. Oh, Trucking with Tay. Oh, Trucking with Box. Yes. Yep. Yeah. I, okay. Mm-hmm. Because I, I thought it was uh, I thought it was Trucking with, with um, I thought it was Trucking with, with Tay, Tay, but yeah, <laughs> but Trucking with Box. Yeah, he got a he got a good uh, he got a uh, he got a pretty good uh, uh youtube page too he's very talented yeah he's very he's, he's very he's very talented yeah, he's very talented with uh with with the editing and everything so yeah w- um yeah. I, it was it was going good full stream but mm-hmm. uh i think i came across one of choices uh stop the clock vlogs and he was talking about some people was feeling some kind of way about about the mini series and then yeah and then all of a sudden it was no more what? um well i wouldn't necessarily marry the two um thoughts together mhm we 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 knew we were going to run up against some opposition right um this was this series was done in the creative vein um it it wasn't supposed to be well we see this trucker doing that therefore we're going to portray it you know okay as something that happened okay this was all you know this this was all um fiction and you know intended to be a little a little drama um then we uh, we got involved with uh, truckers feeding the homeless, which was started by Choice uh, Mass and, and and that awesome trucker. That awesome trucker, right? Mm-hmm. Um, we call her AT, and that was an amazing um, venture that was started between the two of them, and they just decided to focus more in on that. Um, than doing this series. So we kind of put the series on the back burner. Okay. Just for that reason. Okay. Yeah, I chopped I chopped it up with uh I chopped it up with uh with Choice Mass uh about truckers feeding feeding the homeless. Um mm-hmm. they was very successful. I was I, I wanna get back I wanna get back in touch with them. I got a I got an email mm-hmm. I got an email from I believe Attitude I think if I'm not if I'm pronouncing his yeah. name wrong but I got a I got a nope, um you got it I got a um I got an email from him uh that he wants me to you know talk a little bit about truckers feeding the homeless I am definitely mm-hmm. I'm definitely behind that that's 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 an awesome that's an awesome thing that they was able to come together and uh do something for the homeless but with this yeah. with this with this pandemic that's going on right now how how mm-hmm. how how is that affecting everybody uh with with truckers feeding the homeless it was supposed to be in baltimore it's supposed to be set but it was, yes. but now with this pandemic going on how has it how has it affect everybody is is it still going forward is it is it uh change change of plans change of dates what's uh what's what's the talk about it right now to my knowledge, it's been put on hold. Okay. And 
I'm I'm not exactly sure of the complete details of that. You would have to talk to choice or attitude about that, mm-hmm. but I do believe that it has just been put on hold temporarily to see, you know, like everybody else, we're trying to see how um, how this thing <laughs> is going to shake out. Um, you know, we're I think we're all trying to take this, you know, a few weeks at a time. Yeah, that's that's all we can do. We 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 can only take it. Mm-hmm. We can only take it one day at a time. And it's so it is so is so much that's going on right now. How how is it affecting up in Jersey? Have have you guys been hit with a with a stay at home order yet or or um well we we have been strongly encouraged to stay home. Mm-hmm. Uh unless we need to go out for essentials and then they they want us to do the social distancing thing where you know we're supposed to take stay um six feet away from one another and where that you know where did that come from on. that's what i want to know where where did that term who came up with that term i, I cannot believe that <laughs> that somebody in 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 politics was like huh how can we say this nice without being without being forceful hey how about social distancing yeah i think um i think that probably came from from the medical community really from probably from uh, i'm just guessing but probably from the world health organization i'm i'm guessing i i know that i have seen in the past Mm -hmm. that when Typically, when people sneeze or cough, um, it can it can go out six feet. Sometimes I think it can go out to ten feet, really. Um, but I think that that's where they developed, you know, the um, the distance at which you're supposed to stay away from someone. Um, I know that toward the end of the week, the last week that we drove, I mean, we were we were very nervous. Um, as drivers because kids as you know they don't typically um, cover their cloth nope <laughs> sure don't that's so. you know I was I was kind of that's what I wanted to get your get your input on like you being a truck driver and you got a whole bunch of kids uh, coughing on their hands shaking hands slapping necks putting hands in their faces and and it's just being, yep. you know, germs is just being transported between one another. And right. and here you are driving in the midst of this chaos, like, please don't touch me. Yeah. Please don't come up here. Hey, I know. hey Sonny. Well, hey, Son- you know. hey, Miss Sonny Rob, can, <laughs> can I talk to you? No, 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 no. No. <laughs> <laughs> we like that. The week um, during that last week, well, Frankly, during the flu season, I've always cracked the windows in my bus anyway. Mm -hmm. Um, But during that last week, our boss, God bless her, she um, she ran down to Home Depot and bought cases. Oh, before oh um, before before the before everybody jumped into it. Okay, that's what's up. Yeah, she was smart. She She was smart. Yeah. She ran, um, she ran to Home Depot and, and got a bunch of um, disinfectant cleaner mm-hmm. and spray. Mm-hmm. Um, we have to do natural because, you know, because of allergies and everything. Right. Um, so she was just like, she started handing them out to, uh, out to the driver. She's just like, all right, at the end of every day, she's, you got to wipe down your entire bus. You know, you, then you have to spray it. Yeah. And, you know, this is you know, make sure that you get all the surfaces and everything. And, and, um, you know, it made us feel better. And I, I think it probably contributed to helping us because, um, as of yesterday, yesterday would have been the last day of the incubation period from the last time we saw the kids. So, um, I think we all made it out. Okay. Well, let me give, (laughs) let let me give your, let me give your boss a bomb drop for that. For going out there. Like she's, she had that keen eye. She was like, yo, I see it coming. Yeah. So let me go ahead and, uh, let me go ahead and, and get the jump on before all these fools turn into, turn into crazy maniacs and doing them fighting over toilet paper and all like that. No, we, we there, we is there. That is what's up. 
All right, so I was yeah, able. Was very proactive. I was able to go and uh, and find uh, the intro. A we the Macaulay to A we mash up the place when we step on the D-O-T. scene. D O T. Blindside the entire Dark side of trouble. A star of pure content. That's right. A massive YouTube collaboration. The dark side of trucking drivers. And sunny ride. And keep it between the lines <laughs> them. Pull up on your seat. D.O.T. Stoop Gang. Respect. What's, what's, what's a Stoop Gang? Someone tell me what a Stoop Gang is. I like this intro. This this yeah. in, this this intro is the bomb. Whoever whoever put this intro together was was, was on point. Yeah, I, I could not see, but that that was the thing that was that. Mm-hmm. Way. So like professionally done. Mm-hmm. I don't care if you oh, used to like get money. Yeah, you know somebody that get money that you want to get. That's what's up. D O T. And it looks like you guys made, uh, like I said, it looked like y'all made uh, about six or four. Let's see, one, two, three, four, about four uh, episodes. But I guess you still, yeah, I, I guess you guys still got some in the, you know, got some in the trunk. Um, I know that you guys got some in the we trunk. We still have footage that, yeah, we, we still have okay. footage that's, um, that's looking to be put together, but, you know, that's. I don't. I don't know when that's going to happen. All right. Um, but certainly, that's the last thing on our minds right now. <laughs> and here, and here you are, Sunny Rob, talking about D. You want to watch YouTube videos, and you gravitate to the trucking ones. <laughs> you know, I'm lost. I'm going down a huge mountain. <laughs> My tire blew. This one's going to that company. That one's going to this company. My dispatcher sucks. <laughs> you need your entertainment. <laughs> you need to go to Choice Masses channel on YouTube tonight, Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern for the dark side of trucking. This is a new mini series. It's a fictional crime drama comedy that's put <laughs> on by us at the Stoop Gang. We are not professional actors or producers or directors, and we're having a blast. You need to come see. The plot is thickening. You got to come watch. And if you haven't seen episode one or two, you got to catch up and go watch them now. Let me give you a bomb drop for that. Yeah, Sunny Rob. Yeah. Let me tell you how difficult it is to say that, you know, about about the show that tongue twister there is. <laughs> <laughs> oh how, how many how many how how many takes how many takes you had to how many takes you had to do that to get it right? I think two or three. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I think two or three. But it was a lot of fun. It it, it really was a lot of fun and, and um you know Considering that, you know, we did, we didn't really know each other that well, mm-hmm. and we were spread all over the country, um, it, it was really pretty amazing that we were able to put this thing together. Okay, but now, how did you get in? How did you get involved with the? Well, how did you get involved with the stoop? You know, uh, the stoop is like an inquired taste. So, how, yes, it is. How, how was how, how, <laughs> yeah. how you uh, how you managed to get uh, get involved with the stoop? Well, um, I I was watching Choice's videos, and you know he's really interactive mm-hmm. um, with the people who's in his, who are in his chat, mm-hmm. and um, he he was inviting people at the time to come in. So I thought, well, what the heck, you know, I. I'll, I'll, I'll do it because I, I appreciated, um, his content and, you know, I, I thought, 
yeah, I'll, I'll give it a try and see what this is about. Okay. And, you know, I, I really wound up liking the folks in there. They can be, <laughs> they can roast the hell out of yeah. you. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, you know, that's, yeah, <laughs> that's, I, that's, yeah. that's something that just, like I like I like I said, the stoop. Like I said, the stoop is is definitely an acquired taste. So you gotta you gotta have a you, yeah. you, you really gotta have a chess to 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 run with to run with them bulls over there for real. <laughs> but uh, definitely, yeah, they're good people. Though. But definitely, shout out to uh, Choice Mass man because, like I said, Choice Mass is a is 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 a good guy. You know what I'm saying. You know, he, he's, he's, he's really true. He's a really true guy to, to, you know, if you know, you know, if you get to know him on a personal level, you know, like I had the chance to do. Yeah. He's, he's, he's a guy that, um, he, he's a, he's a honey. He's a honey. I had to to give it to him. Um, very well put. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. All right. So now you, you, a few of my questions like uh you you in the industry that is pretty much dominated by women is that safe to say yes um i would say so yeah i would say so okay so yeah so what advice what advice would you give to a man coming into coming into driving a school bus That's, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to stereotype, mm-hmm. but I, it, it's been, it's been my experience, um, as a trainer, um, where, where I do have to sort of, um, like watch what people are doing in the field, mm-hmm. um, and, and beside training, um, that, the males have a tendency to have a heavier foot. Oh, uh, as far um, as far as driving goes. Yes, they tend to have a heavier foot. Yeah, I agree. I agree, um, I, I they, agree with you. Yeah, I agree with you. And they you. also have a tendency to um, sort of, and again, not not all of them, but a good many um, that I've seen sometimes can turn a blind turn a blind eye to situations uh, things that go on in the bus Mm -hmm. you know um it's just it just is my experience i got you that's what's up um so have you what what was your training experience was like with 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 a male um you know it's it was good i i've had both um male and female trainees Mm -hmm. and um they have done well with me they've they listen to what i have to say they don't you know look at me and and say oh you know (laughs) i'm not gonna listen to her there no i i've i've had i've had um good fortune with them but you know it's been fine okay now i was kind of like i don't know i i I was kind of feeling some kind of way that you actually had to do like a separate because when 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 my instructor told me he was like, "Yeah, you know, you can get your you can get your pa- uh, your passengers endorsements." Because I was like, I was gonna go for everything. I was gonna get my my tanker. Well, mm-hmm. I have my tankers. I was gonna get my hazmat. I was gonna get my passengers. And you know, I I went to the DMV, and they was like, "You can't get your passengers." I was like, "Why?" Because that's you know that's a different thing. You have to you know it's it's a different uh different type of thing. So I go back. And I'm like, okay, how do I get my passenger? Well, it's a, it's an extra fifteen hundred dollars. I was like, well, I gotta pay for it. I'm getting my A's. Should that be included? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Should that be included, <laughs> man? Come on now, but yeah, I, I was um, I was uh, so sorry about that. But my brother in law, he's a bus driver. He called me up uh, back in the day. Uh, he's a public bus driver. As a matter of fact, I'm trying to get him on the phone so I can uh, so I could so I could chop it up with him on how this uh, epidemic is is uh, is is going oh, on yeah. in the in the uh, yeah. in the public transportation field. That's rough, you know, because they they're still you know they're still trying to 
that the curve everything transported around. right but they yeah, exactly you know exactly mm-hmm. um but yeah that's why I'm, I'm gonna still try to uh get a hold of him on that but yeah i was kind of i was kind of like thrown but i might mm-hmm. put in that uh put in the application with rta and you know, just 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 to go to get my, you know, just to get my passengers. So yeah, I might just do mm-hmm. that. So probably look out for some videos for that. I'm just saying. Uh, well, you know, the money isn't bad. Yeah, <laughs> it's not bad. It really isn't. Um, and the the funny thing is, and I I don't know if it's this way in public transportation. Interestingly, in school busing, it's a little bit the same as uh, long haul trucking in that. Um, typically the first job you're going to get is with the quote unquote mega carrier. Right. That's yeah. That's like it, it's, it's all, it's, it's always, unless, unless you know somebody that knows somebody mm-hmm. that knows somebody. But other than that, th- th- when you come out here because a mega carrier nine times out of 10 is going to be the one to give you your shot pretty much right and it's kind of kind of the same way in school busing you know you're you're probably going to wind up either going with um for a student Mm -hmm. or student transport america or durham school services you know one of the one of the bigger um private contractors and then because typically the board of education um uh jobs Mm -hmm. They require you to have uh, at least a year, uh, most of them. Exactly. And, but that tends to be where the money is. If that's where the money is, and that's where the benefits are. And that's what you know. That's what's um, that is. We we often in New Jersey, um, the bus drivers that are are working, uh, you know, more or less on a full schedule, mm-hmm. that get teachers benefits. So you know it's. It's not bad. All right. All right. All right. Well, Sonny Rob, before I let you go, I got some quick questions for you. They're, sure. uh, they're family few style. So we about to get into it right okay. quick. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So let's, uh, get that, yep. get that bell going. All right. All right. So <laughs> name a reason you might get rid of an old family heirloom. Clutter. Clutter. I don't see clutter, but I'm going to give you that. It's, uh, it's because <laughs> it's broken. That's the number one. They, they said, oh, they okay. said, it, okay. they said it's because it's broken. But you said if it's, you said if it's clutter around, that's when you're going to get rid of it. It's a family heirloom, though. Like, okay. Well, I, you know, I'm thinking about like, because I have, <laughs> I actually have a lot of family heirlooms and I, I've, and in fact, I've just moved, um, so I had I had to wind up um, letting some go, mm-hmm. which um, I thought was going to upset me, but it really wound up not upsetting me because I I kept the ones that were really important. Oh, okay. But I would say, yeah, if it, if it had to be a really important one, it would be because it was broken. All right. Before. Now, do you do you <laughs> have any kids? You you have any kids? I do. I what's do. what's the ages? Okay, I have uh, two stepdaughters mm-hmm. uh, there that are in their forties, and I have uh, my son mm-hmm. who is a sophomore in college. Oh, okay, okay, so you got you got grown ass kids. Well, this question, yeah, this question is: Where do kids nowadays spend most of their time? On their cell phones. I'll give you that internet. Exactly. Yep. <laughs> exactly. I'll give you that because it's like it's it's like their cell phones is glued to their hands. Like, yeah. Can, yes. can, can you yes. like put that down for a minute? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, tell me something. Many people do just once a week. Go food shopping. Grocery shopping. That's what's up. Twenty four people said that. Name a reason <laughs> a person might wake up at 2 a.m. 
Bathroom. <laughs> bathroom run number one. What's up? I I I had I asked some I asked uh, I asked uh, I asked that same question to a, a another interviewee, and um, mm-hmm. and he said sex. I was like. I asked him, I was like, what, is that to have sex with your with your partner that's in the bed with you? Or to have sex to get up to get up and go look for it? He was like, bro, come on now, don't put me out there like that. I was like, I was like, I'm just saying, you know, two o'clock in the morning, I'm just saying. Name something you might eat with a hamburger. With a hamburger? Yes. Five. Number one, sixty percent said fries. Name something. All American dinner. You know, right? Name something you haven't done since high school gym class. Climb the rope. Climb the ropes. Actually, don't see it. But. Well, that really shows my age. <laughs> <laughs> run, run a mile is 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 uh, number one. Oh, okay. <laughs> All okay. right. So they say they ask one hundred Americans, how much how much do you tip for good service? For good service, twenty percent. Exactly. This was up. Now, what about now? Let me ask you this because that's a controversial that's mm-hmm. a controversial topic in itself. So. Mm-hmm. What do you consider good service, though? What do you What do you consider good service? Um, like very attentive. Um, uh, and basically, I'm thinking of like if you go out, to mm-hmm. eat. so like they keep an eye on your water. Um, you know, they're they're timely with asking you what you'd like to have and and bringing your meal. Um. And just maybe checking on you, like not all the time, just you know. Every, you know, just make sure that you are right. Yeah. Right. So I get, so yeah. I get, uh, I I go to this restaurant. My favorite restaurant is, uh, you know, a little a little uh, cafe um, up in uh, up in Coventry, and mm-hmm. I, I I felt, you know, the person that I was with kind of looked at gave me the evil eye because I wasn't going to tip them. I, I was going to, I was going to leave like a dollar. That's what I was going to leave. And she gave me the evil eye. Like, come on now, you're going to do that for real. And I'm over here. Like, look, she first thing first, she, she brought the food out, but not all of it out. We still had to wait. Mm-hmm. We, we was damn near done eating while they were still bringing out the rest of the food, you know? Oh yeah. See that's right. right. And then, you know, you know, she, she didn't come back to the table to see if we was doing all right. And, you know, but, uh, but you know, the person I was with looked at me and I, you know, I tossed out $5, but still, if I was by myself, if that was me, she wouldn't have got nothing. She, she wouldn't have got nothing. Mm-hmm. So she she yeah. was lucky. She was yeah. lucky that I was that uh that I was with somebody that that made me uh come up with the tip. Um uh, who mm-hmm. who was the most popular character on the sitcom Friends? Uh, you know what? Friends was not one of the <laughs> TV shows that I used to watch. You know what? I and um, you, you know like, what? I, I, I you know what? I figured uh, but but you know, at at first I figured that, but then I said to myself, "Yeah, she got to be watch. She she got to watch Friends, so she's gonna get this." <laughs> I mean, I could see I could see the faces, but I I don't know their names exactly, exactly. <laughs> T- you know, that's no. Tell me something that you can buy that costs a dollar or less. Candy bar. Candy bar, I will give it to you, but it's gum, but it's in the candy bar area. Oh. So they said, number one, they said it was fruit. I'm looking at that like, oh, really? yeah, I'm looking at that like, can you, I mean, even two, well, I here. mean, even, even at Petro, two bananas is a dollar fifty. So, uh, yeah, 
So yeah, yeah that's, so that's that's not that's a what you're looking at around here yeah, too. That's not that's not a, a less than a dollar. Name a liquid no. in your kitchen that you hope that no one ever accidentally drinks. Um, in my kitchen, um, there's a lot of dish soap. <laughs> soap number one, yes, sir. All right. Name <laughs> here's the easy one. Name something that breaks down. My car. All, always. <laughs> always. That is what's up. That is what's up. Uh let's see. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Sonny Rob, what is the most stressful thing in the life of a 25 year old woman? The most stressful thing in a uh, for a twenty five year old woman. Yes. I guess finding the right mate. Love life. That's what's up. Now what about now now mm-hmm. now what about you, Sonny? I mean, you know, you're a little bit older than mm-hmm. twenty five, so what's the what's the most yeah. what's the what's the most stressful thing in your life? Um staying healthy so that I can continue to work. Exactly. Exactly. That is what's yep. up. Right. Oh, yeah, because basically you don't have anything unless you've got your health. That is what's up. All right. So, quick question Game of Thrones or Sopranos? Sopranos. That is what's up. <laughs> that is what's up. That is what's up. All right, Sonny Rob. Well, thank you very much for coming on here. I really do appreciate it. Hold on. Let me give you a round of applause for that. I appreciate you coming on, chopping it up with me, and, uh, you know, giving a little bit about yourself and uh, about your experience as a truck driver. I really do appreciate it. Um, Definitely stay safe out there, man. I mean, it's uh, it's, it's crazy. This, This is something that we haven't experienced in our lifetime in a long time. This is so true. This is so true. This is unlike, uh, you know, I, I had never have experienced anything no. like it. Um, the, the last time I can remember being actually this shook beside 9-11 when I was real little, and again, this is really dating me, but when I was real little, um, when President Kennedy was shot, and I can actually remember being in the supermarket with my mom and my mom just whisking me out of there and running home. Wow. Um, wow. That, so, that yeah. is, that is so, what's up. What about, uh, what was your, oh man, you, you stay up in Jersey. So what was your, what was your experience like when, when the towers came down? That was terrible. It, it was terrible. Everybody in the beginning thought that it was a commuter plane. Mm-hmm. Um, that that uh, flew in to the tower, and then you know, a little while later, we realized that that it was in fact not a computer, a uh, commuter plane. That it, it was, was actual. You know, it was actual Boeing jet. I was, I yeah. was at my. You know, back then I was an op- entrepreneur, and I had two, uh, two music stores here in Cleveland, Ohio, and I was actually, oh, okay. I was actually at the warehouse picking up some stock for my stores when I actually seen the, 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 the plane fly into the, uh, well, after, you know, when they was showing the, the news, tower, yeah. yeah. When they was showing, yep. they was talking about the mm-hmm. first tower and then the actual, the other plane mm-hmm. actually, while they was talking about it, just be lined right into the, into the second tower. Like, oh, I mean, no. it, yeah. it was so real when you see that, like, yo, did that just happen? I mean, everybody, everybody, yeah. you know, including myself, when we were watching, like, yo, is that real? Like, this, this ain't a movie or something like that that I'm missing, right? It was mm-hmm. like, no, this is going, this is going <laughs> on right now. Like, I'm like, for yeah. real? It was terrible. So yeah. let me Absolutely now, horrible. now let me ask you this: on a scale of one to ten, uh, nine eleven. Or the 2020 outbreak? Or is it, or is it just about uh, the same? Well, you know what? They're like, 
they're like right, I would say tied. Um, I, this is more of a slow torture than nine eleven. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, this is being this is really being spread out over weeks and weeks. But nine uh, eleven was more. You know, we were scared for you know a little while, but. I think we we felt that we had more control over that than we do over this. So in different reasons, I think it's it's tied at ten. Oh, okay, that's what's up. I'm I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to agree with you on that. I think it's I think it's up in the I think it's up in the same I think it's up in the same area as as yeah. as both of yeah. them as being catastrophic. Well, everybody, if you like content like this and more, yo, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell for more content like this. I am your humble host, Lockout Man. This is my special. Thank you so much, Lockout Man. Yes, my special guest, Sonny Rob. Definitely. Definitely Sonny Rob. And, uh. Don't be no stranger. That's what's up. We're gonna have we we're we oh, gonna yeah. have many to- we're gonna have many topics in the uh in the uh in the upcoming. So with that said, every Great. with that said, everybody, we are gone. Thank but wait you. a minute, I'm about to bring it back. But before we go, before we go. Hold on. Before we go, we we about to see we we about to see the com- uh the intro again. Fall up on your seat. Fall up on your seat. <laughs> DOT Stoop Gang. Respect. Sonny Rob, thank you very much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. You have a blessed day. All right, I'll talk to you later. All right now. Later.